Right, you turned your back on one martial arts and you've pulled on the boxing gloves. Talk to us a little bit about that journey, making that decision and uh, your debut, which was the other day. How was that? Um, it's, I mean, it's been an amazing journey, um, reaching the pinnacle of my sport in Thai boxing and now making the transition to uh, boxing. Um, it's a bigger sport, it's, it's a complete different discipline and um, I've come a long way. I made my debut last week, um, got a draw, which I was a little bit disappointed, but it's good because I feel as though I've got the best outcome in the sense that it's not made me complacent, it's made me even more hungry, more determined, more fierce to kind of show what I'm about and to challenge myself and inspire others to, um, you know, not take a knock back, to come back rising. What, why boxing? What was it about boxing that was attractive to you? Um, I feel as though I, I've done what I needed to do in Thai boxing and I thought what's my next goal, what's going to be challenging for me and what will inspire me because at the end of the day I did this out of passion um, and what I'm passionate about is inspiring others, um, being a role model and that's what motivates me to get back into the ring. You've been doing a lot of inspiration, inspiring work. Um, a lot of it has been getting covered in the national newspapers about time and all. Um, your, your journey is amazing and I think I've told you that off, off record. Um, talk about what you expect from yourself in boxing now. What are your ambitions? I think it's a big ask me going into another discipline and hoping to become a world champion. However, I believe that no mountain is too high to climb. I'm definitely, I fancy my chances. I'm going to give it my all. I believe I have what it takes and I'm going to try and go all the way so with David Hay and uh, who else you got in your corner big Joe Joyce um, and the trainer exactly yeah so not a bad place to be talk about because I saw you was in America with those guys flying private jet we'll talk about that <laughs> another time um, but in terms of you know what you've learned and picked up from those guys it's been a fantastic transition I've got such a good team behind me it feels like a family I'm in I'm in the best hands so I feel as though they've given me the best resources to bring out the best in me. Um, I'm still f trying to find my feet um, and I believe in a couple of months I will show exactly what I'm made of. What's the toughest part, uh, Justin? I guess it's the footwork and I, um, for me it's untraining what I've already learned and that's the biggest problem because I know how to punch, I've got the power, I've got the speed, I've got the right attitude, I've got the discipline, I've got the respect but it's just undoing what I've learned for 15 years now to retrain my body to uh, do a different discipline. Yeah, it's a different kind of movement, footwork, guard position, even the psychology is slightly different. Um, so it's I don't think people quite understand the transition that I'm making because if I was a novice completely and I've actually done this within the last three months making a transition but I'm really proud of myself I'm moving forward onwards and upwards. All right well good luck thanks for your time really appreciate it.